Happy Monday. Today is Monday, August the 9th, 2021. Today's daily Bible readings come to us from Psalm 57, 2 Samuel 15, 13 through 31, Ephesians 5, 1 through 14, or you could have read Psalm 81, 1 Kings 17, 1 through 16, and then Ephesians 5, 1 through 14. I'm going to take a look at the text from 1 Kings. Um, and talk about that time Elijah asked for some bread. So this is the story where God had, because of Israel's idolatry, but especially because of this guy named King Ahab, who really was responsible for, you know, a lot of what Israel was up to at that time, God had declared that there would be a drought throughout the land. And not just like a drought where like, oh, we go a couple months without rain. This was a, like years that this was going to be. Um, and it was, it was about drought. And uh, and even the place where God sent Elijah to kind of hang out and wait out the whole thing, um, it was, it, they call it a wadi, but it was like a, a creek bed, right? Um, even that place, even though it was, you know, kind of cool because it was really nice for Elijah. He could hang out there and they were like ravens that brought him breakfast and dinner, you know, and he just had plenty of water in the creek, but the creek dried out um, and it was a dry creek bed. So, you know, no water, there's not a lot of life. So God tells him to pick up his stuff and he go and sends him down the road to this place called Zarephath. And he gets there and we're told that as he gets to the gate of the city, he finds a widow who's out collecting sticks. And he asks her, you know, can you bring me a drink of water? And she's like, uh, yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah, I can do that. And as she's walking away, he says, and if you could bring me a little bread to eat too, just a little something to, you know, snack on feeling a bit peckish. Um, she turns around and she says, you know, I, I can bring you water and I would love to bring you some bread, but I'm, I, I'm serious like these, I'm picking up sticks so I can go home and take the little last little bit of bread and like flour and oil that I have in the house and just cook one last cake so that, you know, my son and I can eat it and then die. Of course, it's not like they're going to die immediately. She's basically saying this is our last meal and then we begin the slow process of starving to death times were really seriously bad. Elijah says to her, he says, well, tell you what, just go ahead and make me a little cake anyway, because I promise you, as the Lord himself says, as long as you do that, if you go ahead and cook that for me first, you'll never run out of flour. You'll never run out of oil. Those jar jars will never be empty. And to her credit, this is the amazing thing. She takes him at his word, and she, in spite of how bad it is, she puts her faith in God. And, you know, I don't know, maybe if she was thinking, well, it doesn't much make a difference if I we have one last meal or not. Um, but she goes and she makes him a hot cake. And then the miraculous thing is, hey, there's hot cakes for everyone. Because sure enough, the oil, like she, every time she goes to her cabinet and gets her Tupperware out, there's enough flour in there and there's enough oil that she can make food to feed her household. Um, never runs out of flour, never runs out of oil. You know, a lot of times we refuse or we are hesitant to show hospitality uh, to those in need because we're afraid of our own need, because we're afraid of uh, the short shortages that we face in our life. But there's something about the way God responds when we show hospitality and we give people hospitality out of our own needs. Anyway, that's the DBR for today. Get out, enjoy the day, uh, and we'll be back tomorrow with another DBR for you. Boop.